All right, guys, so let's move on to the product research hero technique number two. Okay, so what we're going to do with this product research technique is we're actually not going to be using Jungle Scout's web app. We're actually just going to be using the Chrome extension on this one. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to run Jungle Scout's Chrome extension on bestseller storefronts, okay? This is a technique that a lot of people don't know about. I mean, it's a technique that's extremely powerful, okay? So let's go ahead and just hop straight into it. We're gonna go into Google uh, and we're gonna type in Amazon bestsellers. All right, so after we type in Amazon bestsellers, we're going to do is we're gonna open up the first link that we see, and it's going, now we're gonna enter Amazon's huge database of, you know, categories and their top listings and their top, um, you know, their bestsellers for each category, okay? So what we want, I want you guys to understand first, okay, is the, the when you open up, a, let's just go ahead and move on real quick uh, to the, what we're going to do. Let's so, say we're going to choose sports and outdoors, okay? When you go to the when you click on a category, there's a huge chance that the first you know the first you know you know section of the, the you know the category is brands. Okay, so we want to you know avoid these ones um, because we don't want to compete with those products um, in those categories. So what we want to do instead is we want to go a subcat two sub subcategories down. You can go one, you can go two, you can go three. Uh, for me personally, I like to go down two. So once we click on one of the departments, let's go and click outdoor recreation. And then let's go down one more. Obviously, you see a brand right here, the Hydro Flask. Let's go down one more. Uh, let's go down to climbing, okay? So once we get there, now we have these brands here that we can po uh, possibly compete with, uh, possibly run our, you know, possibly, you know, smaller brands. So let's go and look down the list. What we want to do is go ahead and just click on any of these listings. It doesn't really matter which one. Let's go ahead and look at this one right here, Vannon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on their storefront Okay, and then once we open up our, their storefront, what we can do is we're going to run Jungle Scout on their entire storefront. Okay, so why this is so powerful is because when a product is, uh, when a when the company or a seller or a brand is already doing pretty well on Amazon, chances are that they have other products that are doing very well as as well, and that's when we can like gauge by their market. You know, obviously, you know, if the brand is doing well with one product, there's a, like I just said, there's a chance that they're doing well with another product. So we want to make sure that we can dissect that. Okay. So let's go down this list real quick. Um, this is the product that was, that we were looking at. Um, we see a product here also that is doing 16, uh, that's doing 4,000, but has 16 reviews, uh, but it's an electronic. So we don't want to, we want to avoid that. Let's go down um, and extract the next page, extract their uh, storefront and see what else they're selling. Okay. So just right off the bat, it doesn't seem like they have many products that are doing very well. And if they do, it's like, an electronic and battery. Um, these probably contain lithium batteries. So we let's go ahead and move on to the next product, okay? Or the next storefront, I'm sorry. So let's go look, yeah, let's go look here. So we're gonna go and open up this storefront and then we're gonna run Jungle Scout on it. Okay, let's go and see what the, these, these guys are up to, all right? So right off the bat, I see one product here that but doesn't look like it's doing that well. Let's go ahead and just extract the next page. Okay, so this there's one product here that's doing three thousand, um, but it is an electronic. Let's let's move on to a different department. I'm not feeling this department. Let's go to the baby category because I like the baby category, and a lot of you guys like the baby category. So main category is baby. Let's go down to you know a subcategory, and then let's go down one more subcategory. Let's go to kitchen safety. Okay. So kitchen safety, actually kitchen safety probably seems like small products that would be relatively cheap. Let's go into like sleep positioners, okay? Yeah, yeah, let's look at this. Okay, so let's go ahead and just click on the first link here. Um, obviously this product is doing crazy, but we don't wanna compete in that particular product. We wanna go ahead and see what else products they're selling, okay? So let's go ahead and run Jungle Scout. I'm not sure if you'll be able to run Jungle Scout on this one. Actually we could, so. You'll see all, uh, what's the seller's name is Summer Infant. Okay, you'll notice that all of Summer Infant's, uh, you know, products that they're selling all over Amazon, uh, all, all, obviously they're doing extremely well. They have these ridiculous products that are doing a ridiculous amount of numbers. Um, but right off the bat, we'll be able to see that, you know, there's one product here. Um, I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, it's a battery. Okay, we don't want to get, we don't want to look into that battery. Let's go ahead and extract the next page. Um, they have a lot of products that are extremely competitive. Uh, but we may be able to find one here that you know that isn't as competitive and is doing really well. Um, this product right here is doing really well. Um, Jora Combo Changer. It looks like a 
and that looks like a it's going to be really expensive to ship over so let's definitely just move on from that one okay so far we are not finding anything that's too good all right well there's a couple right here okay so um baby monitor um that looks like you know that that's an electronic so that might be a little bit tough um this one like right here looks pretty good um summer infant banister let's go ahead and just open that up and we'll look into that further there's a one right here um infant easy store comfort tub that looks pretty good too let's go ahead and open that up um and then same thing uh, we're going to run um, our jungle scout on the product catalog let's go down a little bit more and see what else they have all right so right here 23,000, 15 reviews crazy um walk through gate let's go ahead and open that up and there's one right more that's i guess that's the same thing all right, let's find one more. We have right now we have three from this particular uh, listing or this particular storefront, but let's just go down one more. All right, so I guess that's it. All right, let's go and look at these three real quick. Um, obviously you guys are going to be want to go, wanting to go through like as much storefronts as possible and running Jungle Scout and doing the same exact thing that I'm doing. All right, so Summer Infant Banister to Banister Universal Gate Mounting Kit. Um, I'm going to ex assume that this is considered a banister gate gate let's go and check banister gate um that might not be it but it seems like it's it banister gate all right so just from looking at this um obviously we'll notice that it's extremely extremely competitive um let's go and open up the second page just in case um so we don't definitely it's kind of like a no-go for us and yeah the market kind of pretty much collapses right here so that is a no-go let's go ahead and search up banister guard because i think that looked like it might have been viable okay So you guys will notice that I'm kind of just like playing around with it, you know, going around. Um, yeah, so this market is not good at all. So let's go ahead and just X that out. Let's go ahead and look here. Summer infant easy comfort tub. So I'm going to assume that this is considered a baby tub, infant tub. Let's go ahead and say infant tub. Okay. Um, I don't think we want to buy a real bathtub because that would be extremely expensive. And right off the bat, definitely competitive. Um, you know, we obviously see one here that's doing 42 reviews. Oh, that has 42 reviews. That's only 12,000. But it's also Fisher Price, which is a gigantic brand, if you guys didn't know, in the baby category. Um, so let's go ahead and X that out. And let's go ahead and move on to the second one, which is, I believe, this is like the second, I mean, the same thing that we were looking at before. It's a walkthrough gate. Let's just go ahead and check it out to see. Walk through gate. All right. So let's go ahead and run Jungle Scout on it. So far, we have not found anything. This product right here is just freaking ridiculously competitive. So um, we don't want to go through that one. Let's go ahead and look through one more category one more time. All right. Or subcategory. Let's We'll stay in the baby niche because I know a lot of you guys like, guys like baby. So um, edge and corner guards. Let's, let's move on to, instead of safety, let's move on to car seats. And then let's do car seat bases. No, actually, you know what? Car seats. No, definitely not. Um... Let's do gifts. I like gifts, right? Um, so yeah, let's stay here in gifts. So let's go ahead and uh, open up this was uh, baby drool bibs. Okay, so let's go and open up up simples, um, and we're gonna run our jungle scout chrome extension onto their storefront. So right off the bat, we're seeing some really really good products. I'm I'm not sure if they're all the same. Um, they seem like they all they all are like kind of like textiles, um, but if it's a bib. It's 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 considered a textile. It's considered, um, you know, I don't wouldn't call it a clothing. It's considered a textile, but it, because it's used, you know, bit, it's a bib that it's actually used for like babies, uh, you know, that they don't actually wear it all the time. They wear it when they eat. So it's it, you know you have to think about how the product is used. If it's just a regular T-shirt that you know, then that's definitely something we don't want to get into. But because it's a bib, it's considered a product. Yeah, you can make it look all pretty like this, but. Um, this is something to look into, okay? So just make sure you keep that in mind. Okay, so this product here is doing 10,000 in revenue and has 36 reviews, 4,000 doing 33 reviews, okay? Um, these two products are really different. I thought they were the same, but let's go and open up these two products and let's go ahead and let's look at this first one, okay? So this is a nine stage shower filter. Wow, nine stages. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this would be called. Shower water purifier. I think this is called a shower filter. I'm just going to assume this is ridiculously competitive. Um, but let's go ahead and look anyway. Just in case. You never know. 
All right, so this is just competitive. I'm not even going to try to look at this. Um, let's just go open up the second page just because I'm always curious. All right, so second page um, after se second page is usually after 14. It looks pretty good, um, you know, but just way too competitive. I wouldn't want to mess with that. Um, let's go ahead and look at this one. So baby girl bandana bib drool bib bib bibs drool bibs. Let's go and just I think it's called the drib dr drib drool bibs. All right, let's go ahead and. Put that on there. All right, run that bad boy. Okay, let's go and run Jungle Scout on it. And right off the bat, we'll see that it's really, really competitive here. Let's go ahead and just open the second page just to be sure. Um, yeah, this is gonna, this is, this is com too competitive. So we definitely uh, may want to avoid this. Um, let me see if there's any other keywords for it. Bandana drool bib, bandana drool bibs. It's pretty much the same thing, drool bibs. It seems like that's pretty much what the category is. Um, but you guys get the point. Um, you know, we want to take these storefronts. We want to dissect it. You know, you guys should be going through. Let's go back real quick. You guys want to be. You should be going through all of these. Um, you know, stores. I and mean, these are all different. You know, this right here is. You know, VTech, VTech, Avino. Obviously, Avino is a brand. You want to definitely avoid that. Um, you know, right here. Uh, run, you know, Jungle Scout on Baby Gannix. I'm not sure if they're a big brand or not. Um, as far as I know, Fisher Price is a big brand. But if you go down a little bit more, you know, you see, oh, you know, you see this brand right here. Uh, we can same thing, guys. You guys are gonna go to the storefront. You guys are gonna run Jungle Scout. And you're gonna find products within best, uh, the, the, you know, the categories or sorry, the best sellers storefronts. All right. So right off the bat, like, there's already some good products here. 17 reviews, doing 3,300, which isn't so bad. You know, what I mean, there's one product here that's doing 60 that has 68 reviews and that's doing 3,000, but price is a little low, so probably not gonna go for that one. Um, let's go ahead and go down a little bit more. And so nothing really that good that I'm seeing right now, but let's you know look at this product just in case. Um, it's a three-piece Go Grippers vehicles. All right, let's definitely look at that real quick. Obviously, we can assume that during Q4 or Christmas season, that toys are going to do a lot better. Uh, but that's why we're going to we're going to run uh, uh, camel, camel, camel on these seasonal products to check to make sure. All right, so three piece. Let's go ahead and go to Go Grippers. Uh, let's go to I think it's called a race car pack. Let's just call it race car pack. I think that sounds better. Race car pack, and then run Jungle Scout on it. Yeah, it seems like so this. Yeah, we're kind of like dealing with like Hot Wheels and stuff like that. And yeah, this wouldn't be a good product to get into uh, just for the simple fact that, you know, race car pack is just too broad. Um, and they're probably this is probably a brand anyway, so they're probably uh, it's going to be really hard to compete with them. But um, this is actually a powerful technique. I can't, you know, usually I'll find something pretty quickly, but I'm not able to find anything now. But like I said, you guys want to go on uh, Google, search up bestsellers, click on the first link. And then now we end up in this page, uh, Amazon.com slash bestsellers. We have all of these categories. Make sure we're selecting the ungated categories. If you forgot what the ungated categories were, just go to the last video um, where I do the web app um, product research technique and I show you guys all the categories that are ungated and that we search for. Uh, you know, like you know, sports and outdoors, pet supplies, patio, office products. You know, these are all ungated categories. Uh, don't get into categories that are are gated. I don't want you guys to waste your time. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, you go into a category, don't click on the first, any of these, Dove, these degree, these are all big brands. Go down, you know, one more, let's go to makeup. And then let's go down one more, let's go to like, you know, like face. And then now you guys can click on these products, click on their, you know, their store bit, their storefront name. Okay. And then run Jungle Scout, look through the product catalog and then see if there's any products that are, that meet right, right. I mean, that reach our criteria and then run those the run those keywords onto run the broad keywords onto the search bar on Amazon and see if the product is viable if the product is you know if the market is stable and that the competition is low enough for us to enter all right so um, that's it for this video um, if you have any questions on this one just you know just uh, send me a message or drop it into the uh, Facebook group um, and let's move on to the next video